coming up this week on Archer's Choice. This week on Archer's Choice is Moose Mania. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. You know, if you remember last week, Vicky shot this bull right here at five feet. That's right, Moose Mania this week, part two. This week we got more to show, but I really think, I mean, I really liked it at five feet. We should play it again. I really think so. Yeah? Yeah. I got to relive Lucky it Logo, again. Yes, this week's Lucky Logo is True Glow, though. Where brightness counts, count on True Glow, see? Yeah. I yeah. switched that so around a little bit. So we should really get the whole show clever. rolling by showing it one more time. Just okay. One more time. McMillan River Adventures, Yukon. The Vixter with the Vixen. Ooh. If you remember last week, you know, Vicky had the most incredible hunt that I think we've ever recorded or captured on tape or hard drive now. That, you know, I mean, to have a bull at five feet, unbelievable. Oh my. I just shot him at like five feet. <laughs> we are up here at McMillan River Adventures. Again. Again. And it is the second evening of my hunt. And I shot this beautiful bull. And I have to tell you, I filmed bull at seven yards. I shot this bull at five feet. It was insane. This place is unbelievable. We have never had a bad experience up here, and my gosh, it just keeps getting better and better. I have to admit, last fall, last September, was a month I will never forget. I had, here I am in early September, I'm in Colorado at Sierra Vista. I shoot my first bull elk. It was on a Tuesday. That very next Tuesday, I'm up in the Yukon on the Millen River, and I shoot a bull moose. Tuesday to Tuesday, I shot two big bulls with my vixen. I mean, I don't know how I will ever top that month. Never leave home without your HS. Wind check. You're in a tent. I was just checking. You've been in here. It's mean? my turn. It is my turn to hunt. I am pumped. I'm excited. You know what's really cool? is Don actually flew in him and his wife Jackie the outfitter and he's going out with us tonight Steve Don Vicky and I are heading out Greg is gonna take a siesta I think he's gonna he's actually gonna chop some wood and get camp ready again but it is my turn to hunt this doesn't happen much anymore in my life it does. you know I mean it's always about Vicky so I'm pretty pumped up and excited that I'm hunting tonight it's cool it's like wow I can hunt, Vic. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me hunt. Now, can you believe it? <laughs> it's my turn. I mean, this don't happen often. I feel like I'm like the, you know, like the, the stepchild that you throw in the back. Yep, because it's always, oh, Vic, don't take, yeah, Vic, oh, Vicky, oh, Vicky. Hey, Ralph, oh, yeah, Ralph, you too. Yeah, you know. <sighs> um, I got broad shoulders. I'm, I'm learning to handle it well. He's coming. What you have to do is just stand right over. Waving the paddle. Vicky and I'll get right here. I'm coming. Don't go anywhere because we come back. It's Moose Mania at its best, and it's my turn to hunt. What are you doing? I am trying to start a fire. Oh. It's not working. No, huh? No. Matches so, just don't work. Do <laughs> no, it's not working. Um, so I got my bullet five feet, which was really, really cool. What, what a way, huh? I mean, that's but so cool. But I think cool, it's time that you actually go and try hunting. I mean, come time. on, my gosh. Let's just go. You got that beautiful big old bull. Don and, and I, we were we were actually coming through. There. Yep. Yeah. And that big old bull, big mature bull, but we don't want to spoil it. Check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna you have to go. Like, 
five books. I'm going to have to go find a lighter, I think, because this isn't, this isn't working. I'm going to get a lighter. We're calling and, and out just faintly here. Even with the rapids, the water going, you can hear that. And you're like, and everybody gets excited. That intensity like goes, we see the bull, big, old, mature body. But his rack is a little short of what we were looking for. Don and I kept, Vicky stayed back, you know, and we're going, going, going. And we just wanted to just, you know, get in there and see him and watch him. And then we just decide, you know, like Don said, as you know, we'll let him go. Let's, let's go after another. And that's what's so unique with, uh, you know, with McMillan River Adventures. I mean, to have multiple opportunities at Moose. And I mean, in most places, we'd be shooting any of them. You're passing up on them. Oh. We had lots of opportunity to take them if we don't oh, want yeah, them out here. Yeah, right. We can we can do better than that. Yeah. It's fun to play with the way. It sure is. You didn't know what to think. No. I think that's didn't. an older bull. He's rounded off on top. He's turned brownish gray. His his uh, yeah. paddles are getting real short. Yeah. yeah. Normally you would think they'd start to wave, but yeah. Just not quite cranked up. It's warm today too. I'm surprised this late in the day that. Yeah, but we, with this heat, we yeah. called here, didn't we? No, no. we didn't call here, but oh, we, but we were floating and calling. Floating and calling, and that, see, it sucked him out of this dark timber just to have a look. Eh? He's back in there where it's cooler and this heat. He just had to come up to the edge and have a look. Moose mania, yeah. baby. <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Okay, here's the deal. You know, a lot of times we're going to be around water in a lot of our trips, and when you've got your backpack or your fanny pack and you really have a lot of expensive gear, one of the best things you can do is take your camera, take the extra cards, extra batteries, put them in Ziploc bags, take your GPS, if you have a radio, your range finder, all these types of things. You can get all different size waterproof bags and these are priceless because if you, you know, you've got hundreds or thousands of dollars invested and if all of a sudden you slip or your pack, you go to swing it off, it falls in the water, something crazy like that, and you don't have this stuff at least somewhat protected, you're losing it. Why take that chance? Very simple thing, Ziploc bags, waterproof bags, they all make different sizes, different durabilities. This will save your equipment for years to come. That is your Bowling World Tip of the Week. Don't go anywhere because sooner or later Ralph has to shoot a bull up there on the Mac. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, that was a good bull. Did you hey, what you were looking for? Give me my lighter back. Stop. I, I, I like that. Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you guys passed on that bull. Well, yeah. But but I, I mean, anywhere else you wouldn't. No, so like a Don said, old bull big old mature bull, let but him go. we just wanted to get some more action. So and now, that's what's so cool up there with McMillan well, River. Then you let's get just into keep doing it because we've got some great footage. Another bull, another great bull. We'll see what happens on this one. That's it. Okay, let's do that. Don't take my lighter again. I sort of like that. Can I just see no, it again? Just one, once? No. 
it's still not gonna work big. We go down the river and do some calls. We hear we hear a bull way in the distance, and then we're like, oh yeah. Well, as we get we start moving in, we're hurry up, we're checking the wind with our wind checker, you know, making sure that wind's in our favor. Because you gotta remember that a, a moose's nose is that big, so they could suck up a lot of scent. So you've gotta keep that wind in your favor. We start going in and this bull's holding up, telling me, you know, this this might this is for sure a mature bull. Well, Steve is, you know, Steve, Steve's hunted his whole life with his brother Greg and they are trappers, they do it all. He's really never experienced the, you know, getting aggressive like we do with the dark shirts and the paddles and we move in on the on the animal, keeping the wind in our favor. And I'm pushing him. I'm like, let's get close to this bull. Ooh. And as he's starting to show a little more hesitation, he's a big boy, I don't want him to stomp on me. But I got my Hoyt, I figured I'm protected. So I'm pushing and pushing him and we're going closer and closer. Well, we get to 10 to 12 yards. This bull is so upset. We're challenging him. He's he's like Ooh. He's barking almost like a heavy, heavy bark or growl. He's got saliva dripping from his nose, his mouth. I mean, he wants to tear Steve up. I'm safe, I'm in back of Steve. Was that a rush? <laughs> McMillan River Adventures, baby. Ooh. You can't. How cool is that? How cool is that? 
Unreal. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back where Ralph gets to be able to get his hands on that magnificent moose. Oh, I was looking over here. Oh, baby. Woo. Welcome back to Archer's Choice. Oh, Pick. no. Again, again, I got my moose. I know. Congratulations. That was awesome. I cooked the moose. You pushed the envelope on that moose. Yep. I sort of pushed Steve, and I wanted to get aggressive and see how, how close we could get, and get him a little more aggravated so kids don't do that at home it could yeah be. and don't do and whatever don't you're do planning this, here at home because it's probably not a good thing either after well, 20 some minutes of watching vicky try to light a fire i've had it i'm tired i don't want to watch this i mean it's painful well, then let's let's just roll the footage while you're dangerously oh no um we're just gonna roll the footage while you recover stop that's too much oh my gosh just roll the footage. when you need the job done you saw the shot placement, we, we thought he was slightly quartering, so I had to hug that front shoulder going into him. And I mean, everything worked out perfect, as we so we thought. Uh, we did give it some time, we, we got on the blood trail, got in, and we did spot him, and he was standing with his head down, and we were losing light fast, so yep, up in this country is you don't want to be on these rivers or these lakes at dark, too many log jams, stick-ups, um, gravel bars and the current's so strong in a lot of it and the water is so cold that I mean it's a rule to, to be off the water before dark so we had to make a decision and the decision was to just let him be and it's been very it's been cold we had some, we have some frost again I hope and uh, you know when we see it in the morning it's one of those nights where you just probably, probably won't be sleeping the longest night of any of our hunters lives is a night like that well, we go to get up the next morning, crack of dawn, boom, we're all, we're heading out there. And I don't know, you know, that bull did not move from the spot. And I could have swore I remembered the exact spot. But as we're going down the river, because I was looking from the shoreline, as I'm, we're going down the river, I mean, I'm like, which way did he go? Which way? And, you know, Vicki, as she is to me all the time, she goes, don't you see him? He's right there. You see him? No. He's right there. Oh, I was looking over here. Whoa, baby. Whoa. Bingo! What a long night. And you know what? It's absolutely amazing. Again, for our fourth time, we're up here with McMillan River Adventures, and this place is unbelievable. To be able to challenge these animals, and walk up to them wearing the dark shirts and the paddles and grunting and having them stand there and look like, huh, they're gonna come get us. We've said it before, we're gonna say it again, the ultimate moose hunt. And I think he's wider than Vicky's. Then it was time to have a party. We had another boat. We had Don and Jackie and Greg were in the other boat and all six of us we get we got up there, we recovered the ant, recovered the moose, we ended up all of us, we field dressed the whole thing, we, we cut all the meat, deboned everything, put it on, we let it all sit out and cool out even more, and then we ended up having a nice little campfire right on the Mac River. It was a great day. It was kind of like being on the beach, a rocky sandy beach, and having hamburgers on the barbecue right there on the beach. And it was a great, great experience and a great hunt. And Thank you guys so much, Don, Jackie, Steve, Greg, all of you guys up there, Keith for letting us come up there again. You guys rock. It was an experience. We love the Yukon. Moose mania, baby. One smoking show, isn't it? Ralphie, honestly. Don't do this at home. No. Congratulations. I mean, we've had a lot of fun on this show. I ruined well, my Rocky hat. I know, but it's fun. My t-shirt. It was fun, though. You almost look, if you could have got a little more charcoal on your head, it looked like you had hair. Sam, you we, think you could send me a new one? We want to thank everyone up at McMillan Bye, River Adventures Jeremy. for allowing us back up there Unbelievable. again. Unbelievable. And having a great time and fulfilling our moose mania drive, huh? Our dream. Our dream That's of right. moose mania. And I mean, it's just, it's been absolutely amazing. And just, you know, if you want more of moose mania, you've got to check out moose mania too. Absolutely. Well, and if you haven't seen the Lucky Logo this week, which was True Glow, log on to archerschoice.com. Click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from Shrugal and I believe in Archer's Choice Range Finder. Yep. And if anybody has like a large or extra large new Hoyt t-shirt, <laughs> send it my way because I Nice. You know, I really want to dump a whole bucket on you. It would have been fun.
I really would have enjoyed that one. I'm sure it would have. Okay, well, anyways, want well, to thank you again next week, Old Mexico. Old Mexico. Whitetail hunting down in Old Mexico. So we'll see you next week. See Same time. Time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.